Kumar Jain. I am assistant professor in Biani group of colleges in physics department. I welcome you all of on the behalf of gurukpo.com. Today I am here to present the topic network analysis. Okay. So, here we show the diagram of network, different types of network. In the first diagram, we can see that uh, there is a two input terminal 1 1 and two output terminal 2 2. So, this is two terminal here and two terminal there. So, that is known as four terminal network. If we short circuit the one terminal like that, this form. So, this is the three terminal network and if we two terminal combined, so this is the known as the two terminal network. So, these are the networks, different networks, four terminal network in which two input terminals present and two output terminals present. In three terminal network, one is combined, one terminal is combined. So, this is the three terminal network and the two terminal are combined, then it is known as two terminal network. So, first we discuss about the four terminal network. In four terminal network, there are different parameters known as such as open circuit parameter, short circuit parameter, and hybrid parameter. First, there are in input the voltage is applied V 1 and the current is I 1 and the output terminal voltage is V 2 and the current is I 2. So, this is the four terminal network and this portion the various linear combination of impedance like resistance, capacitance and uh, inductors are connected in the networks. Okay. So, what is the open circuit parameter, short circuit parameter and hybrid parameter? Open circuit parameter is known as when current is 0 in the circuit is known as open circuit parameter. Short circuit parameter when voltage difference across the terminal is 0 that is known as short circuit parameter and the hybrid parameter is known as when current or either current or voltage will be the 0 that is known as hybrid parameter. So, let us see first open circuit parameter. If the voltage is a function of I 1 and I 2, then we can represent this equation like that. V 1 is a function of I 1 and I 2 and V 2 is a function of I 1 and I 2. So, we can solve these the uh, parameter like as by differentiating these terms, differentiate with respect to I 1 and I 2. So, d V 1 equal to del V 1 upon del I 1 d I 1 plus del V 2 upon del I 2 d I 2. Then second one is d V 2 equal to del V 2 del I 1 d I 1 plus del V 2 upon del I 1 del I 2. So, we differentiate V 1 with respect to I 1 and I 2. This is a partial differential equation and similarly, we differentiate voltage V 2 with respect to I 1 and I 2. Now, from here the V i characteristics are linear. So, this del V upon del I will be represented at impedance, we known as uh, d V 1 
is replaced by v1, dv2 is replaced by v2, di1 is replaced by i1 and di2 is replaced by i2. Then this equation will be form of z11 i1 plus z12 i2 v2 equal to z21 i1 plus z22 i2. Okay. So, see here the voltage is a function of i1 and i2. Similarly, differentiate with respect to i1 and i2, these two equations are like that dv1 equal to del v1 upon del i1, di1 plus del v2 upon del i2, ti2 and the dv2 equal to del v2 upon del i1, di1 plus del v2 upon del i2, di2. For vi characteristics are linear for this circuit, so dv1 is a small interval will can be changed in the v1, dv2 is change in v2, di1 is change in i1 and di2 is change in i2. So, the equation like that where z11 is equals to v1 upon i1 and i2 will be the 0. Here I can write if i2 is equals to 0 then v1 upon i1 equal to z11. So, this is the impedance of the terminal v1 and i1. So, it is known as input impedance and when i2 is 0 then it is known as short circuited sorry, open circuited input impedance. when i2 is equals to 0, this term will be 0, then v1 upon i1 equal to z11 and this is one terminal. So, this is input terminal. So, it is the known as input impedance and i2 is 0 that is open circuited input impedance. Similarly, when i1 equal to 0, v1 upon i2 equal to z12, i2 equal to 0, then v2 upon i1 equal to z21 and last one i1 equal to 0, then v2 upon i2 equal to z22. So, these are four z parameter known as open circuit parameter. We also call these parameter z parameter. Okay. So, when i 1 or i 2 is equals to 0, then these are the ratio of v upon i and known as impedance. Okay. So, this is input impedance z 2 2 is it again uh, and on the output terminal. So, it is known as output impedance. z12 is known as that is 1 voltage 1 will be affected on i2. So, this will be the reverse transform impedance. Same one i1 one is depend on v2. So, this is a forward transfer impedance. So, these are known as z parameter when in circuit input current will be 0, then uh, it is known as open circuit parameter and also known as z parameter. We can see from this equation, I can summarize in the form. When voltage and dependence on the current i 1 and i 2, so differentiate with this equation for i 1 and i 2 and we find the equation and parameters when i 1 is equals to i 2 in this equation. Please like, share and subscribe the video channel, YouTube channel gurukpo.com. Thank you very much.